in uh, the West End in Fitzrovia. Um, I'm the UK ambassador for KMS and this is my salon Hair and Bone. Um, I'm going to take you guys in and show you around. Um, so if you'd like to come inside with me. Welcome inside. So just over here we've got our reception area where we greet all our clients. Lovely Surya, one of our assistants. Um, this is our main retail space with our Goldwell, Kerasilk and the KMS products. Um, which is um, a real nice hub area for the clients to be greeted um, and also to say goodbye and introduce them to the right retail products. Um, yeah, then when you come through here, we've got our main upstairs salon space. This is where um, all the magic happens. The clients come and relax. And if you follow me through, um, we've got some of our artwork up here on the walls as well. From uh, This is from our first campaign when we launched the salon a year ago. Um, and also some of these images were mine from, I was nominated for the London Hairdresser of the Year at the British Hairdressing Awards last year. So that's some of the work. If you can come through. Get this is our sort of smaller backwash area, so where the really nice massage chairs, the clients can sit and relax um, and, and have really nice indulgent Kerasilk and KMS treatments. So the design of the salon is very, um, it's very monochrome, it's quite stripped back, it kind of fits with our brand values. So the salon is called Hair and Bone, so the meaning behind that is the hair is to represent um, core British values and uh, British intrinsicity and the bone is all about our philosophy behind cutting hair which is suitability of face shape and bone structure. So if you come with me I'll show you downstairs. <laughs> You've actually caught the salon at a very rare quiet time so it's quite a nice time to show you guys around. So this is our basement. It's actually a lot bigger than you'd think. Um, we've got another seven sections down here. And then this area is where we bring a lot of our VIP clients and our celebrity clients. Um, very private backwash area. Um, again, if someone's having a big treatment, they can come in here. It's quite a nice feature up here, actually. I don't know if you can see, like the original um, streetwear from here and all of our KMS shampoos as well. So we can try to keep a lot of the original features of the salon, um, of the original space. Wow, I'm, I'm jumping in. Hi everybody, it's Anne with Modern holding the camera. We, this is, we're looking up at the street here. Yeah, so that's the street upstairs and these are original, um, the original uh, skylights from the pavement. That is so cool. Yeah, it's quite a feature in a lot of London spaces because it's such a small compact space. We have to make the most of all the space that we can. Um, originally, we wanted to keep all the walls really stripped back down here, but unfortunately we had a problem with damp. So we had to then create a feeling of like, almost like London Underground by bringing these tiles in. Um, but we've had loads of great feedback on them actually. People love them. And just with the work of the reverse grouting and the tiles and the monochrome. So again, there's some more of our campaign images on the wall. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Thank you. So if you come through, again we've got some more space. This is like our book cabinet where we're collecting fashion books. We've got like Alexandra McQueen, some awards we won at the Colour Zoom. One of our stylists went to Vegas recently to compete for the Colour Zoom. She won the UK creative event. Her name's Esther Leo. Um, and if you come through here, I can show you our colour bar area, which is really nice. Um, so this is where we mix up all our colours. Um, we can bring the clients in here as well and show them the swatches on the wall. So we can really show them all the colour choices, um, everything from there. And then we've got the full range of the Goldwell, um, Top Chic, Nectea, um, and the Illumin colours, which are really exciting. So we get lots of bright, punchy results from lots of those. I would like to point out too that you didn't know I was I mean, I didn't know you, were this, you didn't know I was coming, <laughs> and that this is really how this color bar always looks. It's so tidy. Yeah. It's I mean, so tidy and clean. Well done. Thank you. Again, because we've got quite a small space, and we wanted to like really open up the whole experience so clients can really be involved and they can see actually how it all works. So, but it's important that we keep that nice and clean and tidy as well. Somebody uh, commented, 
Uh, yes, cleanliness. The cleanliness is great. That's a, at M D Zula. Okay. And someone else said, "Look at how clean it is." So <laughs> it's not just me. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I think it's so important that even the behind-the-scenes things, like. The surface stuff, we keep that clean, but if we keep behind the, the scenes tidy, clients can see that it's not just a surface value, it's actually something that we really we really believe in as well. The standards are high. Uh, uh, now, at the Witch by Beauty asks if you'd show us around one of the stations down here. Yeah, sure. So this is uh, just your typical station. We have um, the power sockets are hidden on the side. Maybe this one's easier. Um, so we have our power sockets here. Um, this is room for the products while we're working. Then we have a space for the client's handbags can go in here. We've got a, a gown in there. <laughs> um, and then at, at the moment, the downstairs is used for training a lot because we're such a new salon, mainly upstairs is, is used the most. But we've got these nifty little things here where you can charge your mobile phone on these. They look, people often think they're drink holders but actually, the modern um, Samsung phones you can put on top and they just charge automatically. If not, we have plugins for people's phones. Maybe I can show you when we go back upstairs. You just set it there and yeah, it charges? Yeah, so the iPhone needs a plug-in and you, you set it on top, but some of the phones you put on top and it lights up and it just automatically charges up. Because a lot of our clients work in fashion and media and they need to always on the go. And um, But our plug sockets also have U USB sockets for laptops and things. There's free Wi-Fi for every, for every client. We also offer um, freshly ground coffees and we run um, a service where we can run out, we do nothing. There's always a yes for our clients. So if they need us to run any errands, we can get someone to run out and do that as well. Yeah, hair by Reagan says she needs that at her salon. The charges? Yes. They're very popular. I, well, yeah. I've never seen one. Yeah, it's a very new technology. Um, I'll show you how it works when we go back upstairs. Okay. If we've got time. All right. Let's keep walking. Um, Let's and we've got our salon mascots, the, the mannequins, and just use some space there as well. Um, somebody else is asking. MD Zula said, "Upstairs, the shampoo bowls look close together. How do they shampoo in that chair by the wall?" So they're back washes. So the, the assistants stand behind the, the basins. Ah. Yeah. So it's just a bit more efficient in terms of space. Okay. Again, being in London, our space is, is, is quite small. The salon itself is 1,300 square feet set across two floors. Um, this is one of our assistants here, Rianne, with a very Hi, modern, Rianne. this is England haircut. <laughs> Let's see your haircut. Turn around. Yeah, she's got a very modern look. Yeah, I'm just waiting. Uh, scene okay. at the moment. <laughs> I love it. We've actually got some cool pictures from our launch party here on the wall. So these were, we had a wig bar, so you can see here, client, people that came to the party could try on different wigs, and they'd have to hashtag hair and bone, and then these would go out onto Instagram, and this would print out. So it was a really good way to create a buzz and some PR for the launch party. And we had some celebs here, we had, um, like Charlie XTX was here, um, and a few others as well. Wow. So that was a really fun night. So tell us again how long you've been here? Uh, we've had our first birthday in December, so we're quite new. And you are, what? tell us the significance of being in the West End. So I, Are we in the West End? We're in the West End, <laughs> okay. yeah. So we're not in Mayfair, but like Fitzrovia, and they're dubbing this area now NoHo, which is north of Holborn, rather than Soho, which is south of Holborn. Um, but it reminds me a lot of like, Soho and the East Village in New York. It's got a very independent feel. It's all very boutique stores here. Um, there's a big rag trade history here, so links to fashion. Um, there's also some of the biggest um, advertising companies here. The BBC is based here. Um, so it's a real feel of like, um, I don't know, fashion and, and new things that are starting up. So it's quite nice to be involved in that. Um, yeah. Alright, should we go upstairs and watch Let's the phone upstairs. charge? Yeah, I'll show you how that works. Okay, and as we do, I'm going to slowly uh, scan some of these great images. Yeah. <laughs> Maria Booth Hair loves the music. That's neat. We're heading upstairs. And we're going to watch how these phones charge. Okay, so you just pop the 
charger on top. It's going to work. Okay, and that's it, and then it charges up. It's the glowing. <laughs> that is terrific. Yeah, you're right. I would have thought that was just like yeah, a. Yeah, people put their tea on that. I, <laughs> that's what I would have <laughs> done. Their coffee. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Wow. Well, Sam, I know that we've ended with the phone charger, yes. but, but really, <laughs> what's so wonderful about this is everything you've managed to do with the opening of the salon, with your work. Yeah. Um, can you give us your uh, salon handles, your social handles, and your hairdresser personal handles so yes. we can look for you? So the hair salon is um, across all of our social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook is Hair and Bones, but H-A-R-E-A-N-D-B-O-N-E. -E. And my personal one is Sam Burnett Hair, um, and that's on Twitter and Instagram. Right. Yes, I'd love you guys to follow and sort of see what we're up to. Thank you so much. Great, Bye, thank you. everybody. From, Bye, guys. From London. Take care. Cheers. You know, one thing that I just <coughs> think is so interesting.